ever noticed how some people spend a fortune, but still somehow manage to look, well, broke? I get it. Sometimes life just gets a little extra, and who doesn't love treating themselves? But it's important to make sure those treats don't leave us out of pocket and out of place. Today, we're diving into 10 pricey habits that, if you're not careful, can actually make you look poorer than you are. If we're investing time, energy, and money, let's make sure it's for the things that add, not subtract. Ready? Let's go. Number one, buying luxury statement pieces that can't be styled easily. We've all been there, caught in the whirlwind of a bright red handbag or a pair of sky-high heels covered in sparkles, thinking they'll make us look so chic. And they're gorgeous, no doubt. But here's the thing. If they don't play well with the rest of your wardrobe, they can quickly turn into a one-hit wonder that's worn once and then, poof, back to the back of your closet. The secret to true luxury? Versatility. Think of Carolyn Bessett Kennedy. Her wardrobe was built on simple, high-quality pieces that moved seamlessly from day to night, making her style look effortlessly chic every time. No dramatic, over-the-top pieces, just classic, timeless choices. When you're out shopping for that next big luxury piece, try looking for items that actually work with the rest of your closet. Trust me, a statement piece is great, but it's the ones that can pair with everything and make you feel like a million bucks. Those are the real winners. Number two, constantly altering appearance with different looks. Trying a new look can be fun, but constantly switching up your look, especially when it's drastically different from one day to the next, can make it seem like you're still searching for who you are, style-wise. When you don't have a recognizable aesthetic, it's hard to create that signature vibe that speaks to your personality. People with old money style don't just follow trends, but define them with a consistency that makes their look instantly recognizable. Take Queen Letizia of Spain, for example, her minimalist, refined elegance never wavers, and that steady, unmistakable style makes her presence unforgettable. It's the kind of look that's so refined, it doesn't need to shout. The key here is finding your signature look, what feels truly you. Once you find it, you can build around that and experiment with your own aesthetic. You'll still have room for fun, but it'll be grounded in something that feels authentic, not all over the place. Number three, ignoring low-key maintenance habits. Here's a subtle habit that makes a big difference, taking quiet care of your clothes. Those expensive pieces you've invested in won't last forever if you don't show them a little love. And no, I'm not talking about just wearing them to show them off on Instagram. I'm talking about the subtle, behind-the-scenes care that makes a world of difference. We're talking about things like professional garment storage, steaming clothes, and regularly maintaining accessories. Stuff you don't always think about, but totally elevates your style. Think Audrey Hepburn. She didn't just throw on her dresses and call it a day. She especially takes meticulous care of her wardrobe, making sure her clothes stay in pristine condition for years. I mean, if she could keep her clothes looking fresh while rocking those iconic Givenchy gowns, I think we can take a minute to care for that leather bag, right? Here's the trick. Quality items will last longer when you give them the TLC they deserve. It's a small habit with a high payoff. Treat your pieces like the treasures they are, and they'll keep looking fabulous way longer than you ever expected. Number four choosing brands known for mass luxury. If a brand has a hefty price tag, doesn't automatically make it luxury. Sure, those widely advertised luxury brands that everyone seems to have are pretty accessible, sometimes too accessible, and that can actually hurt their exclusivity factor. When everyone knows about it and everyone has it, it kind of takes the magic away, don't you think? Now let's look at the real old money style. Think of it this way. True luxury often lies in the details, the craftsmanship, and the legacy of a brand. While the masses may flock to the big names, those with old money styles gravitate toward the quieter, less obvious brands. 
Brands like Hermes and Celine don't rely on flashy marketing campaigns. They let their timeless designs and impeccable craftsmanship do the talking. When shopping for your next investment piece, try to look beyond the labels and flashy ads. Seek out brands with a legacy built on quality and exclusivity. Number five, wearing loud colors or patterns in the wrong settings. Bold colors and vibrant patterns can definitely turn heads, but they can also be a little out of place if worn at the wrong time. You know what I mean? Wearing a neon dress to a formal gala. Princess Diana mastered this art. She knew when to rock a lively color for public appearances, but when it came to more subdued formal events, she always kept it elegant and timeless with softer, more muted tones. Adapt your wardrobe to the setting. For formal events, go for understated shades that exude sophistication. Save the bold hues and fun patterns for social gatherings where they can really shine. A well-curated color palette shows you've thought about the occasion and it instantly elevates your look. So remember, dress for the vibe and you'll always nail it. Number six, over-accessorizing. More isn't always more. Too many accessories can overwhelm an outfit and detract from a refined image. Instead, one carefully chosen piece can be far more impactful. Grace Kelly was known for her timeless pearls and simple scarves, proving that a single accessory can leave a lasting impression. Instead of layering jewelry and accessories, try picking one standout item to let it shine. Whether it's a delicate necklace or an elegant watch, one piece often makes a stronger statement than a pile of them. Number seven, trying too hard to appear youthful. We've all seen it. The overly distressed jeans or ultra playful outfits that look better suited to a younger crowd. Wealthy women often avoid overly youthful trends, favoring instead sophisticated pieces that mature with grace. Diane Keaton is a prime example. She dresses in a way that's unique and age appropriate, showcasing her own flair with elegance. Embrace trends that work for your style, but don't feel pressured to chase every youthful fad. It's all about a natural, effortless elegance that complements you. Number eight, high maintenance looks that require constant adjusting. Ever wear something that looked amazing but turned into a full-time job to keep in place? It's hard to look composed when you're constantly fussing over your clothes. Wealthy women often choose pieces that require minimal attention, allowing them to move through the day with ease. Lauren Hutton's style embodies this. She's known for simple, comfortable looks that keep the focus on her personality. Choose clothes that fit comfortably and won't require constant adjustments. This frees you up to focus on what matters and adds an air of natural confidence. Number nine, purchasing items for social media appeal rather than longevity. It's tempting to pick up trendy pieces that look amazing in photos, but are they really adding to your style long-term? If it's only for the gram, it's likely to lose its appeal fast. Old money style values pieces that are timeless, both online and off. Victoria Beckham's wardrobe choices reflect this. She opts for quality items that work just as well in real life as they do in photos. When shopping, think beyond the screen. Choose pieces that work for your real life, not just your social media feed you'll end up with a wardrobe that feels authentic and lasting. Number 10, ignoring the power of scent and subtle fragrances. A signature scent can elevate your presence, but overpowering perfumes can be off-putting. Wealthy individuals tend to favor scents that are subtle and complex, enhancing their aura without being obvious. Angelina Jolie, for example, is known for her understated fragrance choices opting for niche, elegant scents that complement her sophisticated style. Go for a fragrance that feels like you, but doesn't announce itself loudly. Look for complex notes that linger subtly. This adds to your sophistication without overwhelming. Looking polished isn't about an endless budget or changing yourself. It's about making thoughtful choices that add up to a style that's authentically yours. 
Small changes in habits, an eye for quality and a focus on timeless pieces can elevate your look, making you feel as refined as the icons we admire. Remember, true style doesn't need to scream, it only needs to show up with quiet confidence. If you enjoyed these tips, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more style secrets. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What's one expensive habit you're going to rethink after watching this? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, keep it classy, keep it confident, and always remember, style is all about how you feel in what you wear.